Okay. Ooh, I was trying to hold myself, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to build on this, but I just got to touch this. I got to touch this subject. Is the black woman or is woman a goddess? You know, I haven't really seen any videos or anybody that's really showing and proving how this shit ain't right and exact. But I have been seeing a lot of these videos of these brothers kidding out here advocating, you know, she's a goddess, she's a goddess, all this other stuff. And I just wanted to just address that. First and foremost, God as a concept represents omnipotence, which is all power, omnipotence, which is all knowing, and omnipresence, which means to be everywhere. Now, that's what God represents as a concept. And when I say God as a concept, I'm, it doesn't matter what you call God. You call God the great spirit, the creator, the father, Yahweh, Jehovah, Asar, Allah. It don't matter what you call it. I'm just talking about God as a concept of all power, all knowing, and all presence. So that concept, how could you add something additional to what's all knowing? Can anything be known outside of what's all knowing? Can anything be present outside of all presence? Is there any power that exists outside of all power? No. So how in the hell could you add a diss onto God? You're dissing God when you really say that or undermining the very concept that God is supposed to represent from the door. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like when I was little, you know what I mean, me and my brothers, we would be having a debate, you know what I'm saying, arguing about what superpower you will have and stuff like that. And I'd say something like, well, I got all the power in the world. That's my superpower. My brother would look at me and say something like, I got infinity strength. I got infinity power, right? Now, that's a done deal. Once he says he has infinity power, that's a done deal. My dumb, immature ass would say something like, I got... I got, I got infinity power plus infinity times eternity forever. That shit makes no sense. Because once you say infinity, that encompasses all. That's the same thing with all power, all knowing, and all presence. That encompasses everything. You don't need or cannot add to that. And you can't take away from it either. It is what it is. So to come behind and take the word God and then to add a diss on the end of it, you're contradicting the very nature of what you say God really is. And if you come into a female advocating and teaching that shit, on the highest metaphysical level, you're telling her that God is really inadequate. That's why you need a goddess. You see what I'm saying? And if you get in a relationship on some terms like that, right, eventually what you're going to see is this female ain't even going to need your ass. Why? Why would she need you when she is everything that you're not and what is additional to that? So that's one of the things that you see with a lot of these females out here already. They have this attitude like they don't need a man. What you're telling them now is they don't need God. And you don't even know it. So, like I said, a lot of that that these brothers is out here advocating is completely not right and exact. And it's basic common sense. If God is God and God is everything, how could you add to everything? How could you take away from everything? It's impossible to do that. Unless, unless God ain't really what you say God really is. That's why you need to make some goddess. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you look at people that may be in a marriage, right? Let me break it down again. <laughs> you see people in a marriage, right? And you see this dude walking around like, Yes, my wife, she's everything to me. She's everything. She's all that I ever wanted. And, you know, I just... And this motherfucker got to jump off on the side. She really must not be everything that you say she is for you to have something additional or on the side. That's the same thing these brothers is doing, talking that shit about God and goddess. That is not... Uh, it's just, it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Man and woman are complementary opposites. You know what I'm saying? It's a dichotomy. But a dichotomy isn't God and goddess. The true dichotomy is God and earth. Why? Because when you look at any religious system or any spiritual system, if they have a concept of creator, the dynamic opposite of that creator is the creation or the dynamic opposite of God is always going to be earth because that's where the affairs of God takes place. 
we break that shit down into the simplest form, God and earth, man and woman. You see what I'm saying? It's not God and goddess. What the fuck is going to happen on earth? Who's going to play that role? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all that's out here teaching that, you really need to study your foundation because, like I said, you're approaching these women and on a whole different level. You don't even know it, but you're telling them how inadequate you are, especially if you're calling yourself God. And this woman is your goddess. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope that answers some of y'all questions. And I, like I said, all of that teaching is straight bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's bullshit. Straight up. Peace.